I'm in my running era. How delightful. Going to Pilates and then going for a coffee. Look at these. <laughs> it's Sisters and Seekers Hall time. <laughs> I'm going shopping with Mum in Cambridge. Sausage and mash one. Such a rogue shop for me. I never thought I'd go in this shop in my life. Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to the weekly vlog. It probably actually isn't Monday when you're watching this. I mean, there's a one in seven chance, and I don't upload videos on Monday. So if you're watching this today, it's gone live, it's not Monday, but whatever day it is, happy, oh, I've just unplugged something, oops. Happy whatever day it is, basically, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday, and we're starting the week off this morning. It is bright and early. I say it's bright and early, it's like almost eight o'clock, so it's really not that early, but it is nice and bright. It's a blue sky day. We're starting the day off and starting the week off by going on a 10 slash 12k run. I haven't yet decided how long I'm going to run for. I'm just going to decide when I go out. And also, my Apple Watch is only um, half charged, which is not ideal. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to run if the Apple Watch isn't tracking it, so... We'll either run until the Apple Watch runs out of charge or, you know, we'll see. If you can hear Billy barking, he's about to go on his walk. So he's very excited. I apologise. The dogs are back. What else is going on this week? Um, I'm going to go shopping with mum one day this week. I've got some parcels to open. I might be going to view a new car at the weekend. All things like that. It should be quite a fun week. So I'll obviously take you along with me. Um, now for this run, I'm going to bring my headphones. I'm also going to bring, again, the Serene Banana Loaf Bar. This is not actually the one I took the other week because my brother actually ended up eating that. So I bought a new one. I still haven't tried it. Um, but I'll put that in my pocket in case I need anything. I do need to actually this week get a running vest because I said to myself, I'm not going to buy myself a running vest until I run 10k, which I've already done. And I also need to get some like energy gels because... Alana was literally gobsmacked the other week when she watched my weekly vlog and I said I ran 10k with no water and no snacks. So maybe I shouldn't be doing that. So I need to get a running vest. I'm going to get one of the ones that's got like water, like a water pouch in it so I can take water in my runs with me because I really don't want to have to carry a bottle. And I'm also going to get some gels and stuff this week as I start to enter into the long run, um, long run era my long running era i'm in my running era apparently so um headphones i'm going to listen to a podcast i think maybe a couple of podcasts depending on the length i actually feel like i am rambling just to procrastinate this run i also do need to get some running sunglasses because i'm still running with these um, which are my normal everyday sunglasses and i do look like a little bit of an idiot that is it um my running vest is from Shein. it's actually really good quality i literally love it i've got this sports bra on and underneath from h&m which it's quite handy because I can like unzip it as I get hot. My leggings are bowing tea and my running trainers are downstairs, but they're from Hocker. Hocker? I don't know how you say it. Anyway, I do actually feel like I'm rambling just to procrastinate going on this run, so I might as well go on it. But it's a gorgeous blue sky sunny day, which we all know is my favourite kind of day, especially for running. So that is perfect. So I'm going to go for this run and then I shall see you in a little bit. Let's go run 10 to 12k. I have also just realised I still have the ghosts on my bed and we are in fact on the 6th of November so I feel like the Halloween bedding should be going. So that is another thing to add on this week's to-do list. We should be getting rid of that. Do I get the Christmas decorations out and replace the Halloween ones with them or is that too soon? I really don't know. Anyway, let's go for this run. We are out. We are on the run and the dogs are just ahead of me so I'm going to run past them and then they're going to be upset that I'm going on a run without them. There they are. They haven't clocked me yet but they'll clock me in a second. My brother's just taking them on their walk. <laughs> Hello! I'm halfway. I've done 6k. I ran my 6k today quicker than I ran 6k the other day. Even though the other day I was purely just running 6k whereas today I'm running 12k. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make sense because I shouldn't be running faster when I've got further to run, but I am. And I don't know why I keep trying to slow my pace down, but I'm struggling to slow it down today for some reason. So I'm running faster than I'd like to be, but that's not a bad thing because if I can do it, let's do it. We are 8.5 kilometers in. I've got a really good pace. It's actually one of my like, fastest runs ever, even though it's my longest run ever. So that really doesn't make sense to me, but I always find the easier runs, no. The longer runs are easier than the shorter runs. I think it's because after a while I get into a rhythm and then I can just keep going. Oh my god, I'm so out of breath because I just sprinted that last bit. You also probably can't hear me because it's super windy, but I've done it! Ta-da! But look at the state of my trainers. Not the vibe. The trainers are not enjoying this whole time nor running. But that's it. 12k is done. I'm gonna go home and have the biggest bowl of mini chocolate wheat mix and have a nice warm shower and I cannot wait. I am home. We do it to the being consumed, and can someone please explain to me how this happens? But 
I managed to run my 12k so much faster than my 10k. My 10k I ran in one hour, 16 minutes and 52 seconds, an average pace of seven minutes, 41. My 12k I ran in one hour, 24 seconds, one hour, 24, 58, which is eight seconds longer just to run two extra kilometers. And I ran that at an average pace of 704, which just seems bizarre to me, but I always find the longer runs easier because I kind of get into my rhythm and then I can kind of get faster. Whereas the like 30 minute runs that I do as part of my training plan, I find them harder because I only just sort of get into my rhythm, rhythm when the run stops. But anyway, I'm gonna shower now, just sort of update on the run because that went really well. It's my longest and my fastest paced run yet. Make that make sense, but it's my best run yet. So that is that done. I'm gonna shower, get a bit of work done, get on with the day, and I'll see you in a bit. The banana serene bar has yet again made it home not being eaten. I wonder how many runs I'm actually going to end up taking this one until I eventually eat it. I have showered, I have stretched, and now we can go on to the fun part of the day. I have some parcels to open. I've got a few mysterious parcels, of which I don't know what they are, which I'm very excited about. They're potentially my favourite parcels to actually open because it feels a little bit like Christmas. And then last week I also placed a sisters and sneakers order. So I thought we'd open one parcel on camera and then one parcel um, I'm gonna do as like a little TikTok unboxing. But I feel like for you YouTube weekly vlog girlies, you deserve the big parcels. So we'll start with this, we'll open this. I just ordered a bunch of things because we all know my love for sisters and sneakers. I have been a fan for literal years um, and I just haven't ordered from there for quite a while. But they've come out with some new t-shirts which we all know are my favourite, so I thought it'd be rude to not order some. Although I'm now starting to think maybe I should have been a little bit more patient and waited until Black Friday because normally on Black Friday they have like quite a good sale on. Uh, but I wasn't patient. Ooh. And I have in fact just gone ahead and ordered a bunch of things. So first up I got this um, jumper. I never would normally get this. I wouldn't normally have got this, but I saw this on someone on Instagram. They were, or maybe it was TikTok. Anyway, they were wearing it as like a jumper dress with boots and I just absolutely loved it. So I got it and I got it in a medium slash large because that was either the largest size they did or the largest size that they had in stock. And it's given me kind of dad vibes. My dad definitely has a jumper like this in his wardrobe. And yes, I did try it on the other day to see if I could steal it. And it wasn't quite long enough, but it was like a light gray version of this. This is so thick, actually. This is the perfect length. So it's like a button down, um, thick knitted dark grey jumper and like I said normally if I saw this like Zara have come out with something similar to this I showed it in my come shop with me my London come shop with me that I filmed with Mia so if you haven't seen that definitely go and watch that but Zara have come out with something like this as well I think they're meant to be quite popular but like I would walk past this in a shop but then because I saw this girl wearing it and she styled it really nicely I decided to get it so I'm excited to give that a try it feels really thick and good quality there's actually a lot in this bag like I Oh, I forgot about this. I ordered a two-piece as well. This is like a little grey knitted two-piece. Oh my God, this is so soft. Um, this is the Finch Short, I think it's called, in extra small. So these are the little shorts. I've got a mirror there. That's all. If you ever wonder when I'm filming here what I'm looking at, I'm looking in the mirror. Um, and then I've got the... Oh my God. What an idiot. Have I really done that? Oh... I've ordered two of the shorts. Did I order two of the shorts? Oh, okay, that's okay. I thought I'd ordered two shorts and no jumper, but I've actually ordered the jumper and then two shorts for some unknown reason. But luckily you can return things to sisters and sneakers because I do not need two of those shorts. Um, and then I got the jumper in a medium. So it's just this like gray jumper. I mean, this is super basic, but obviously you could wear this with loads of different things. And then with the shorts, I just thought it was a really cute um, little knitted cord. And then the last thing in this parcel, is this t-shirt they've come up with which i just thought was kind of funny like i love random slogan t-shirts especially from system speakers they're always the most random things and i saw they decided to run this like t-shirt i got it in a medium slash large i do have to say that this is nowhere near as thick as the normal sisters and seekers quality like normally sisters and seekers t-shirts are so thick and that's why i love them because it makes them hang really nicely this is a lot thinner but I hope that this still fits well. But um, it's taking the piss out of like men taking pictures with fish, basically. And it says, mine's so big, I use two hands. And it's holding a fish. It's a really ugly fish. It's a really ugly t-shirt, but I really like it because it's just random. I have always said Sisters and Seekers could literally put a rubbish bag on a t-shirt and I would probably buy it because I just love their t-shirts. But yeah, this is definitely thinner. A different um, 
quality. I think this is because it's like a limited edition. They posted it on their Instagram, people like, as like a joke, and people were like, oh, I love it, please run it. So they were like, okay, actually we'll sell it. So I think maybe that's why it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, not cheaper, still the same price actually, but like a little bit not as good quality. Does that make sense? Um, and now, the exciting mystery parcels. One of these parcels, I know what it is because um, I've got a jacket coming from Glamify Fashion, but I have three parcels here. So one of them is probably the jacket and the rest I don't know what they are. So, oh, I know what this is. This is not the jacket. This came so quickly. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these. Oh my goodness, I love already. Look at these. I got these from DHgate and they very kindly gifted them to me, but I am so excited about these because I have been so close to buying these for the longest time. These arrived so quickly. I thought that these were gonna take ages. That's why I didn't know what was in the parcel, but these literally took less than a week to arrive. Look at these. Oh my goodness me, look at that quality. These feel so thick and such good quality. And they're these striped elasticated waist, like drawstring trousers. And then um, here they just have this little like tufted logo i'm obsessed with these i cannot wait to wear these i also feel like striped trousers like this are super popular at the moment they're really like scandy style really on trend so this is literally ideal the tags and everything is perfect i'll leave a link to these down below i honestly cannot fault these these look such good quality these do not look cheaply made at all i think they're like 20 to 30 pound but these are so well made like better than Zara quality I'd say and you'd pay more for these than Zara and they look so nice look at like how good that like detailing is and everything oh my goodness me I'm obsessed okay so that must mean that this is the jacket I'm so excited about these I literally love these they also came in this bag did I show you I don't know I literally can't wait to style these because they look like they're gonna feel like pajamas but I feel like with the logo and everything they're gonna look a little bit not like pajamas so you feel a bit more put together does that make sense so this must be the jacket so let's just i'll probably just show you my dress then i always do that let's just open this yes it is i'm so excited about this they do this in a navy as well but i got the black one from glamify and it looks so nice i cannot wait to wear this it's like it's giving dior kind of print vibes it's this like really squishy it kind of feels like a duvet slash like quilted blanket it feels like that printed jacket this is not going to look good with the outfit oh yeah this is a little jogger set i was meant to mention this at the start um from boohoo and i keep saying i'm not a tracksuit girly but i'm obsessed with this um jogger set you buy the top and the bottom separately and they also do like wide leg trousers a tight little crop top so you can like mix and match but i went with just like normal cuffed um trousers with the oversized t-shirt and i think they do in a few different colors i literally love this tracksuit so much i'm obsessed with it so i'll also leave that link down below and this jacket will be linked to my tiktok because i got it from tiktok shop so it'll be linked on there oh my god how nice i love the fit of this doesn't work with the outfit but this fits so nicely i love this the sleeves are already rolled up but you can roll them down but i like that rolled up it's giving boxy baggy oversized fit which is everything i love it's so comfy kind of feels like a dressing gown but it's not i'm actually so excited to style this this is gonna look so nice and also if you watched last week's weekly vlog i said about boohoo coming out with the gray bomber tracksuit dupe of the zara one and how i really wanted them to come out in beige well since last week's weekly vlog and me starting this week's weekly vlog they've come out with a beige and it's coming in the post today so i'll either open that review later on today or tomorrow but they've come out with a beige zip up bomber wide leg trouser tracksuit dupe of the zara one does that make sense if you haven't watched last week's weekly vlog and you don't know what Zara tracksuit I'm talking about, you're probably a little bit confused right now, but that will hopefully make sense. And now for this parcel, which I don't know what this is. It's really heavy and it's in this sleek black box and it doesn't say where it's come from. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look what that says. Oh my God, oh my God. Again, if you saw my weekly vlog from a few weeks ago when I was staying at Josh's, I got a DM from Space NK and they wanted to add me to their PR list. So I like replied and then I hadn't heard anything, but now we have a Space NK parcel here. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, I have no idea what's in this parcel. Should we open it together like this, ready? Oh my god, there's, there is so much in here. We have a note. The note says, Hey Georgie, we're so excited to have you as part of our community. We wanted to send you some of our hair care heroes. Okay, so we have a load of skincare. I am seeing Olaplex in here. I kid you not. We have Olaplex number four and Olaplex number five. <sighs> Georgie, breathe. Georgie, calm down. Oh my goodness me. What is this? Ceremonia scalp 
mass i think that's scalp massage but in a different language oh it's one of the little scalp brushes oh really want to do that with my hair right now but i'm not because it's in a sleep ponytail <sighs> we have color wow oh my god i keep seeing this on tiktok and i was so tempted to buy this because this is meant to be really good color wow extra large bombshell volumizer that is a little bit of me i'm here for that what's this we have a pot Briogio. Briogio? I don't know how you say that. Don't despair repair deep conditioning mask. Okay, what are you gonna smell like? Ooh, it smells like something. Mm, that reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it. It smells delicious. If it smells expensive, it smells sophisticated, it smells like everything we want in our lives. Then we have bread, hair oil, everyday gloss, hair oil, apply to wet hair or in between washes. Oh, she's lit. Oh, I love this packaging. I also love the fact it's called Bread, but it's a hair care brand. That's very random and that is a bit of me. And then we have a couple more. Oh, we also have you. Okay, do not react. Don't know why I'm saying do not react. Don't say, oh my God, and scream because you'll embarrass yourself when you're editing this back. But Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I have heard so much about this. I feel like this has been in the beauty community for years. And I finally have my sweet precious little hands on it. And then the last thing we have, this is from the same brand as a scalp massage. Oh, maybe these are meant to go together, but that is not in English. So I don't know what that is. Heritage Scalp Remedy Oil, pre-shower. Oh, so I think we use these together. This is like a little, hair serum oh my goodness me my hair is not gonna know what's hit it i've actually been saying to myself recently like i really want to make a conscious effort to put more time and effort into my hair so this is literally perfect oh my goodness so then we have a little scalp oil <gasps> thank you so much face and k what an exciting parcel i literally cannot cope how have i made it on the space and k pr list i don't know but am i complaining absolutely not this is like the best day ever I am so grateful. I literally cannot believe that. I'm going to go, I'm literally going to go right downstairs and show mum because mum is going to freak the, freak the bleep out, okay? I'm going to keep this box forever and ever as well. Like, this box is going to be used for something. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this box for, but she's not getting put in the recycling bin for the bin men to come and collect on Wednesday. She's going to stay in my life forever. Right, I'm going to go show mum that. That is the parcels I had to open. I really want to try these on as well. I'm going to try these on in a bit. I need to show mum this first and then I shall try these on. What an exciting Monday morning. I am feeling the best vibes ever. What a week. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs, show this to mum. Then I'm going to do a bit of editing of last week's weekly vlog. And I want to put together some outfits for autumn. I just like to try and style loads of outfits in like a couple of hours. So then when I'm going out somewhere, rather than having to think what I want to wear, I've got like a few outfits already like put together and like I can pick from. So I want to do that because I'm going to Cornwall at the weekend. And obviously I need to pack for Cornwall. So I'd rather plan my outfits before I go. So then I'm only bringing things that I actually want to wear. Does that make sense? Because I am an overpacker and otherwise I will bring loads of stuff and then just not end up wearing it. So I'm going to try on some outfits and style them in a bit. This is just sitting on my shoulder like a boombox. It's starting to get really heavy. So I'm going to do a couple of bits and bobs that aren't very interesting and I will see you in a bit. Ah! I feel like you deserve a little kind of close up picture. Not picture, but like vlog clips so you can see what this looks like. Look at how incredible. I also, when I show mum, who seems to think, by the way, that she's going to be trying all this stuff out. And <laughs> when I showed mum, I saw this in the back, which I didn't realise on this one. Like a lip gloss. Like, why can't I speak today? Like a lip gloss, but for your hair. That sounds so exciting. I literally can't wait to try these all out. I also didn't wash my hair when I came back from my run, which is a little bit gross, but it makes a slick back pony easier. Like, we love that 12 quay sweat. It's the best thing for a slick back um for a slip back pony it's like the cheapest best product for it so anyway so tomorrow um i think i'm gonna wash my hair and then i'm gonna i probably won't try these all out i think like oh, maybe i will should i really treat my hair and try these all out tomorrow potentially there is a chance like yeah do you know what i actually might have to do that so i'll try these out with you later on the weekly vlog and let you know how i get on because there is no way i'm not gonna be able to try these out before the end of the week so i will try them out and let you know what i think about them but just let's just appreciate even the box she's stunning i've just seen this tiktok and now it's making me want to run the new york marathon purely just because i love the fact that they're offering donuts i mean i know this guy is british and he lives in england so like he might be doing that at the london marathon but i just feel like in new york the vibe is cool like you know like donuts are such a thing in new york and we all know how much i love a donut so i was like oh that would be amazing and then look at this they've got a little golden retriever they've even made a sign and they're giving it high fives 
I literally want to run the New York Marathon purely for that. I also would kind of love to run the New York Marathon just because I love New York. Like, we all know my obsession with that. So, like, imagine running around the whole of New York for a marathon. I mean, girl, don't get ahead of yourself. You've not even run the London Marathon yet. And you're not a runner. So, like, let's just get London done first. But maybe at some point in my life, New York Marathon, just because this golden retriever has inspired me, may be a thing. Good afternoon. I'm now in the car. It's kind of, like, blue sky sunny, but there's also a bit of cloud. And I feel like the sun is, like, directly kind of shining awkwardly on my face. But alas, I'm now out and about. I'm actually not out and about. I'm in the car, but I'm about to be out and about with mum. Um, she needs to do a food shop and then mum wants to pop to B&M to have a look at the Christmas decorations because um, last year we didn't really decorate our house in Cornwall for Christmas because we only got the house in November so it's almost been a year since we've had the house and then we went to New York for Christmas last year like not for actual Christmas day but like we were in New York be um, before Christmas so, like we just didn't really have the time like with moving in, repainting, redecorating and getting like actually moved into the house and then we went to New York and then it was Christmas so we didn't really have time to actually get any Christmas decorations and decorate the house for Christmas last year so mum wants to do that and we're going for a, well she's going for a Scandi um Christmas theme which I can absolutely get on board with because that's obviously very much my aesthetic so mum wants to go to B&M because I showed her um some of the bits I've seen recently in B&M that will really like suit that aesthetic so mum wants to go to B&M to get them so I'm going to do that um I will take you with me to Audi but I won't take you with me to B&M because I'm going to film some clips in B&M for a separate video but that is the plan i also from bnm not only do i want to get some christmas decorations i would like to get some muscle soak because my legs are absolutely killing me i did stupidly forget to stretch before i went running this morning which didn't help and i did stretch when i got home but my legs are just aching a bit so i'm going to try and get some muscle soak because i need to soak off my tan when i get home anyway and put some fresh tan on so i'm gonna have a bath anyway so i might as well chuck some muscle soak in the bath as well um, i'm just wearing this outfit that i wore last week on it when i went into london with mia because i just wanted something comfy to be honest I was really tempted to just go out wearing the tracksuit that I was wearing earlier but I thought I might be a bit cold so I just thought chuck on this top and leggings um and then just chuck the trench coat on also this is mum's new car mentioned that in last week's weekly vlog this is one of the new cars in my life the car that mum and dad decided to respond why is the car singing to me i don't know what that means um this is like my first proper time being in it i kind of popped in it yesterday but today is the first day of me like sitting in the front seat and everything and it's quite nice it's a nice car would you like to see it i'll show you it whilst i'm waiting for mum she just had to pop into the doctor's so whilst i'm sitting here this is the new car i mean there's an apple that i was going to eat but then mum had one and it wasn't a very nice apple so i'm not going to bother eating mine because no one likes a bad apple um it's quite cute and also we love this flat dashboard it makes vlogging super perfect like i feel like the camera sits really well there just you know it's a lovely flat surface which is ideal because my mini just doesn't really work it's just the dashboard isn't great so i love testing out people's dashboards when they get a new car to see if it's good for vlogging and this one is so we love that because i do spend quite a bit of time in this car especially like when i'm in cornwall and stuff so cornwall vlogs the car clips it's gonna be great anyway i feel like i'm rambling i'm talking for three minutes about actually what like what have I been talking about three talking about for three minutes? I'm also gonna stick some new nails on today because I need to do that. I'm gonna film tomorrow, so I wanna be freshly tanned, all nails, all sorted. And since I last saw you, I have literally just been editing last week's weekly vlog. I've been doing that for a couple of hours, had some lunch, and now we're here. It's quarter past two, and I will see you in Aldi, I think. <laughs> They've got the other things. I got the s'mores last week, but they've now got the brookies in stock. Oh, they look delicious. I've still got s'mores one left, so I don't need them. So I'm gonna get them next time, but look at how good they look. <laughs> good morning. It's Wednesday. It's raining. I've got a ski jacket on because it's the first jacket I could find that had a hood on it. So I don't want my hair to get wet and I've done it up here to keep it in place so it doesn't keep moving. And I'm walking the dogs. Yippee! Good morning, it is now Wednesday. Yes, I am wearing this outfit again. Am I slightly embarrassed by that? Yes, I absolutely am. It's a very grey, gloomy, rainy day today. It's meant to fall, um, no, it's forecast to rain all day. So I was planning on wearing a different outfit, but they weren't like weather appropriate. Like I don't wanna wear my Uggs. I don't wanna wear any coat that's like wool style or anything. Cause I basically just don't want anything to get ruined in the rain. And I tried on some outfits yesterday and I just basically, I feel like this camera looks a little bit wonky. This tripod is absolutely horrendous. It just doesn't like, I don't know if this clip's wonky anyway. But yeah, I tried on some outfits yesterday and I just wasn't really feeling any of them. Like none of the weather appropriate outfits that I had 
like I was feeling. So I've just gone with this outfit again. If I'd have known I was gonna wear it today, I wouldn't have worn it yesterday. But you know, let's normalize outfit repeating, okay? Because if you like it, why not wear it multiple times? Today's plan is I'm going shopping with mum in Cambridge. We're gonna have a little shopping day together and I'm so excited about it. I am gonna film like a Christmas home come shop with me video um, whilst I'm out though. So I don't know how many clips I'll film for the weekly vlog because I'm obviously gonna be filming a separate video, which I don't know if it's gone live yet or not. I can't remember my uploading schedule, but if it's not gone live yet, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on it. And if it has gone live, I will leave a link down below so you can go and watch it. But yeah, so that is today's plan. Oh yeah, I also started off the day by walking the dogs in. I completely forgot about that. You would have already seen a clip of that. But yeah, I was up early this morning, walked the dogs in the rain, came home, got ready, and now here we are. And I'm really looking forward for a little cozy mum and daughter shopping day. They're kind of my favourite days, so I'm really looking forward to this, especially because normally I go shopping on my own, um, like nine times out of ten, so it's really nice to have someone to go with. So that is today's plan, and I will probably... I'll probably just see you when I'm in Cambridge. Hello, we have made it to town. We're just in H&M currently. Um, I've got some Primark stuff to return, which is why I've already got a Primark bag. This is the outfit of the day, but you'd have already seen it. But it's cute. She is an outfit repeater, but she's a cute outfit, so we can't complain. I'm just waiting for mum. I don't know what she's doing. She's looking at something over here, I think. Oh, there she is. She's got a cute little outfit on today as well. Mum's got this new Zara jacket, it's so cute. We've made it to H&M, look how cute this is. I'm not like a red girly, but I know red's really popular at the moment and imagine that for like a Christmas party I feel like that'd be nice as a dress but I think it's a jumper they do also have a beige but I feel like the red for the Feliz Navidad fa -la 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 season as Mia would say um, I quite like it that's quite nice as well a little like, chunky grey zip jump dress I'm just following mum around I'm not really looking much in H&M but I'm just following mum these are quite a cute little snowy boot I already got something similar to these so I really don't need them if you're going on like a winter snowy or like ski holiday they're like a nice little bog boot they're really cute actually 42.99. they have got them in black as well they've got quite a few little like snowy boot things. I don't really look much at the clothes in H&M when I actually am in store. I do online but I tend to look more at the accessories when I'm in store. I love this little two-piece set. It reminds me of one that I have from um, Pretty Little Thing but it is so soft. The lighting is not doing it justice. It's kind of like a yellowy sort of beige and then you can get matching wide leg trousers. How nice is that? And then also they've got some Christmas pyjamas over here but I love these. I really don't need any more Christmas pyjamas but look at how nice. They're like a kind of slightly faded Candy cane print. I absolutely love them. This is the code in case anybody wants them. They're $18.99. That's the code. Oh, that's actually out of focus, isn't it? There we go. Can we see? There we go. I actually really like them, but like I said, I have so many Christmas pajamas, I can't justify buying more, but I'm a big fan of them with like a cute little white vest top. I think they'd be so nice. They don't have pockets though, so that is a downfall, but they've got a cute little like red ribbon drawstring thing. Such a rogue shop for me. I never thought I'd go in this shop in my life. I'm in Decathlon to get a running vest and some running gloves and I feel I've never felt more out of my comfort zone in a shop in my life. Like this is not the kind of shop I would normally go in, but needs must because I've stupidly signed myself up for the marathon. If you didn't know, because I've said it about 500 times now. Oh, I could get myself a kayak though for Cornwall. Can even get a three person one. Me, mum, and dad could all go in it together. How cute! That is not what I'm in here for, right? Let's actually go to the section I need to go to, which is definitely not camping. Okay, this looks like the right section. I actually know what I want to get. I saw a recommendation, so I feel like that's the best thing to go off. Is a recommendation, seeing as I literally have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to running. Bingo! I found them. I think this is all I wanted. It's only twenty four ninety nine. It looks quite nice and it has a little water thing in the back. I was tempted by the white one to go with my trainers, but I feel like black is gonna be probably better. They actually have quite a lot in here. Most people probably don't care about this. I'm not gonna dwell on this for a while. Oh, do I need to buy that separately? The water bladder, I thought it came with it. Oh, it does. Oh, this one comes with it, perfect. I think this is the one I'm gonna get, 24 99 That looks quite good. I'm just gonna check, actually, this is the one that I was coming in for, but I think this is the one. This is the other thing I'll come in for, some touchscreen running gloves, because my hands get really cold at the moment when I'm running, because it's obviously getting colder, but I, always, but I also want touchscreen ones so I can, like, stop and start my watch, and also, like, change my music. I think these are the ones. Let me try them on for size. Ta-da! How nice. Let me check if they're touchscreen. Let me check that this actually does work. Okay, I'm not actually gonna show you my password, but they work. So we're gonna get these and the running vest. These are so nice. I really don't need them, but they've been reduced and they're like, they've got the longer shorts underneath, which I really like, but that is not what I came in for, so we won't be buying them. I never saw myself being a decathlon girly and coming and browsing in decathlon, but they've actually got some really nice running stuff. Like they've got some really good jewelry in here, they're really nice. What has happened to me? This is the last thing I'm coming for, to try some energy gels. I'm just gonna get like a variety, I think, if I can see 
some flavours I like because I've never tried them before. I don't know if I'm going to like them and I don't know like which ones I'm going to like. So I think I might get a berry one of this brand and then maybe apple from this brand. So I quite like apple flavoured things. Or do I get raspberry? Oh, this one's raspberry and electrolyte. That's a different one. I think I'll just get the apple and I'll get these two to start with, see if I actually like the consistencies and stuff from the brands. Oh, they always have these things. Do I need these? Don't know. I actually don't know what I need. I know I need something like this though, so we'll give these a try, see how I get on with these, and then maybe we'll try these. I don't even know if I need them. Maybe I need to search. Em, um, if you're watching this, let me know if I need these, please. <laughs> Em's Josh's sister, and she's already run a marathon, so she's my go-to for all my questions, and so is Alana. So Alana and Em, do I need these? I'm going to get these to try and get my running vest and my gloves, and then we'll see how we get on with that. We're in Primark, and they've come out with the... This is a new... I know. This is a new Rita Ora collection. Look at how sparkly. £32. I think that came out either like today or this week, but the security card that told me off the other time is very near me. So I'm going to do this quickly. We've got like a satin cargo trouser matching bomber thing. I'm scared I'm going to get sold off. So this bit we're doing quickly. We're just going to pan over. That's a nice coat, but £60. I think that's actually about it for Rita Ora. That's all her new stuff. It's quite nice, but very party-ish like glitzy glamour this is a nice jumper it's a nice classic i'm not doing what's new primark i'm going to try not to film too much because i really don't need to because i have already got what's new primark live on my channel if you want to go and see that but if i see anything really really nice new in i will quickly show you that this is such a nice like duvet feeling coat it's like i think i think they're slightly different this one feels softer and squishier it's like a long line beige one with pockets it's 48 pounds they've got it on a rail here and they also have a black one so I don't know if they've just come out with it because like it's not actually been put out properly yet but it's such a nice like long thick warm coat if anybody is looking for one they also have this like shorter version which is probably like just past your bum length but this one's like nice long length this bomber's giving zara dupe 26 pound look at that for like a nice dark grey wool bomber that's actually so nice this is a really cute like classy kind of christmas pajama set it's a really nice like burgundy red color and it's like the boyfriend style pajamas it's 14 pound for the top and 14 pound for the bottom so it's kind of pricey but you could also wear this, like not just at christmas do you know what i mean like you could definitely get away with this red color all year round and it does feel really nice this is such a good idea look at this the snuddy to go that packs down so lightly and then you pack it up like that for 18 pound honestly to be honest though if i got that out i don't know how i'd get that back in the packaging like i would probably never be able to get it back in there like that but that is so good for like traveling and stuff it's quite heavy but like it's nice and compact look at how cute these little christmas pajamas are that is adorable and then there's this one as well which is so festive I love it. I showed this hoodie in my What's New in Primark bag from the other day. It's like reversible. So this is one side and this is the other. You can see a little bit better now because I've actually got them side by side. It's £22. And most of the stuff I'm actually seeing today in Primark I have already seen and I filmed in my What's New in Primark and also in my Come Shop With Me With Mia. So I'm not going to show much in this weekly vlog because I've already shown that stuff in that video. So if you want to see some more bits in Primark, go and watch my What's New in Primark and also my London Come Shop With Me With Mia because most of this stuff that's here now I've already shown in those videos. We're back in H&M because Mum's trying some stuff on the music. There's because above and it's so annoying because I'm scared I'm gonna get copyrighted but I thought whilst I'm waiting for mum might as well I don't know why I'm showing my outfit again because we've done it suits well in this colour scheme though doesn't it I'm actually so excited sneak peek of some bits I've got in an upcoming chronicle I'm well excited about my running vest I just feel like it looks quite good like I know everyone talks about the Solomon or however you say it but that is expensive yes I may be in my running era but this girl is not spending that much money on a running vest I'd rather spend that much money on a pair of Uggs or something like that you know I'm in my running era but I'm not that much in my running era but it's got like a little tube so the water it's got like a little water pouch in the back here i've just been having a look at it and it's got like a little water pouch and it's got a tube so i can like drink out of like like a straw when i'm running can't wait I'm happy with that no one really cares about this i'm not a running channel or like a fitness channel so people probably don't care but if you do care or even if you just you might just care about my life you know if you're watching my weekly vlogs you probably just care about my life not not trying to sound big headed but you know what i mean little touch screen gloves and then i've already shown you this why am i i'm bored okay i'm waiting for mum so i thought i'd show you it i've literally sat here gone through my purchases twice going through my bags whilst i wait for mum so i thought i'd go through them for a third time and show you but yeah um we're in the best but, but i'm excited about it bacon and meat bun <gasps> wow Oh, they've got cookies as well. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Look at the size of the chocolates. That looks nice, but I don't like the old pair. We've come for a little coffee. This is a new, well, it's fairly new to Cambridge. We've not tried it. It's new to us. It's so cute in here. Um, and we've got a 
baklava. Yeah, what is it? Not not not. Look at how big it is compared to my hand. And then I've got a latte as well, which I'm so excited about. But it's so nice in here. We're in Zara and Lurk. They've got the um, bomber tracksuit, but in a light grey now. I love that colour. I'm so tempted by the light grey because it's such a nice colour. Look at that. This is it in a small. I love the beige one as well, but they've just come out with this light grey and I'm obsessed. These are the other colours. They've got the dark grey and they've got the beige. I've mentioned this in so many videos now, so I'm not going to ramble on about it again, but that is what I mean. But they've now got it in grey as well. And it is so nice. Oh my god, I'm so tempted. I love all the colours. I've just found this in TK Maxx. I saw someone get it on TikTok, so I was keeping an eye out for it because I would never normally look at the books. But look at this. I found the White Company book. £12.99 instead of £35. I feel like I've just hit the jackpot. I'm so happy I found that. I already have one of these, like a different, like a White Company book, but like a different one. So now I can have both. This is perfect. It's a shopping in Maxx, isn't it? Okay, shopping is very nearly done. We're just at the last shop now, which is Sainsbury's, because I need to collect um, some Christmas pajamas that I've had click and collected here. So I'm going to collect them, and I'm also going to see if they've got the um, Kim Kardashian energy drink in here as well. I'm not an energy drink girl, but I just really want to try it. So I'm going to see if they've got it because I know that it's meant to be stocked in Sainsbury's. I've also just found these in Sainsbury's. I've been wanting to try these, but I couldn't find where to buy them. They don't have all the flavours I want, but I'm going to try raspberry ripple because that sounds really nice. I might also get um, apple crumble as well to try. Okay, they didn't have the um, energy drink or these other things I was looking for, but I got those gels which I'm really happy about because I didn't know where I could buy them. I thought I was going to have to order them online and I got my parcel. So it's a win. I was just telling mum how when I was like walking here, I was literally walking on this bit, vlogging, telling you how I was going to Sainsbury's and I heard these boys behind me. I don't know if you could, if it picked it up and coming, they're like, oh, maybe she's a YouTuber. They were like, I think they were secondary school but they were probably like year seven and they followed me around the whole store like I could hear them because they weren't picking their feet up properly they were like scuffing their feet along the ground and every aisle I went down they went down them and like the aisles I was going down they weren't going down and then as soon as I went to the checkout they um like went to Starbucks which must have been what they were there for because there's a Starbucks in that Sainsbury's so I think they literally just followed me around to watch me filming which we love I mean it was quite cute I would have felt a bit weird if it was like older boys but they were quite sweet but it was quite funny because I was like I can tell you're following me but they didn't say anything they just silently walked around the whole store with me it was really bizarre anyway I picked up my Christmas pajamas which I'm very excited about I'm excited to open them and now I'm gonna go home which I'm quite excited about because it's half three and we've been out since we've been out since like half eight I think so I'm quite I'm quite tired I've done a lot of walking so I'm looking forward to going home my arms aching now so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna hang on these traffic lights. I'm gonna go for them. Maybe I can open my pajamas and I can show you them. And um, you might have seen them on TikTok. They're little like they're little like ski print pajamas. They're so cute. So they were eighteen pound, but when I got them, they were um they had like twenty five percent off two clothing. I want to say. And they're like cream. Oh, there you go. There's a skier. Oh, we're about to move. I'm just sat in the car waiting for Mum. She's just gone to like. I don't even know, like a DHL like drop off, like a post office like DHL. Just drinking this. It's actually delicious. I got this from M and S because I was feeling like you know when you're like. Oh my god, there's a St. Bernard dog over there. That is so flipping cute. Um, you know when you just feel like you need something sweet to like give you a little bit more energy? I was starting to flag at the end of the shopping trip. So I got this in MS. It was kind of like a, I walked past it, it caught my eye, and then I like was like, oh do you know what? I'm just gonna get it. Didn't even browse the drinks, which I normally would, but I'm actually very pleased with it. Pink lemonade, so it's just like raspberry lemonade, it's delicious. I just had some hot chicken for lunch from Asda because um where we were at the time I was hungry, there wasn't really any like other than Nando's, which I didn't really fancy, I just wanted like a quick pick up thing there wasn't any like places to get food other than asda so i just got some hot chicken from asda so i'm quite hungry so i'm looking forward to having dinner i did get two of those gels in um uh, sainsbury's basically i've seen this brand online they do so many cool flavors like they've got a banoffee one i want to say they've got a caramel latte they just have like interesting flavors and we all know i love food and i love trying new things so i thought that'd be a fun way to try these gels but I didn't know where you could buy them in store. I thought you could only order them online. So I'm really glad I managed to find them in Sainsbury's. They've got apple crumble. I wonder what that will taste like. And I also got raspberry ripple. So I'm excited to try these. And if I like the texture of these, because the thing is they're quite a weird, like slightly thick texture. The um I don't know where the ones that I got earlier are. I put them in a bag somewhere. But like that high five berry one I got is so watery, which I feel like I might prefer. Whereas these ones and the other apple one I got earlier. They're all quite thick, so I don't know if I'm going to like the texture of these, but we'll see. But if I do like the texture of these, I might then order some online. Because the caramel latte is calling my name. And the banoffee. I'm sure it's caramel latte and banoffee. And there might have been a couple other flavours. They're just a little bit more fun than just like orange, berry, apple, which they all seem to be. And I just feel like I'm going to like be more excited to take these on a run 
if they're a fun flavour. Do you know what I mean? I'm very much like that. Like, get me new gym wear and I'm excited to go on a run because I'm excited to wear my new gym wear. Get me fun flavours to try and I'm excited to try them. Do you know what I mean? Although I did see a TikTok of a girl the other day when she was, she tried a gel for the first time and she kind of gagged at the texture. So I am a little bit worried because they do feel a bit of a weird texture, but hopefully I like them because I've got four now. Um, and then I also today, I might as well give you a quick little haul. Um, I got this Christmas decoration in Tiger to go with the two, um, actually I got three last week. I got the baguette, the popcorn and the candy like the popcorn machine and the candy cane so i thought i might as well get the little bubble gum dispenser as well and then i also got um another christmas decoration oh someone in front of me just put their brake lights on i also got a christmas decoration in john lewis as well which i'm so excited about they had some really good ones in there so i don't know if my christmas come shop with me will have gone live before this or after i've done like a christmas i was filming a christmas home come shop with me today but um i got this sausage and mash one because I've already got a fish and chip one, which is on a plate as well. So I thought this would be perfect to go with it. I just love, um, I love neutral decorations, very much like Scandi vibes. But then I also love um, random novelty ones as well. Like I've got two extremes of decoration. And then I obviously got the bits from um, Decathlon. Oh, and then I also got this blanket because I saw it um, last week when I went to TK Maxx and I didn't get it and I kind of regretted it. It's this like little ski blanket. It's got little skiers on it. So I thought this would be quite a cute, like I didn't, I didn't get it last week because I've already got a Christmas blanket. So I didn't need to get another Christmas blanket, but I thought that's actually like a wintry blanket. And there's this um, cushion from Asda that I want to get, which is like a ski scene cushion. It's like an anthropology dupe. So I thought together, they would look quite cute and I could have them as like my office decorations for like January and February for like winter before I get my like Easter and spring decorations out because I am excessive like that and I decorate for every season. Oh, and then I also got the book from The White Company, but I actually got mum to get it for me because she's going to get it for me as a Christmas present. And I think that's everything that I got today as well as a couple bits from Primark, but I'm saving them for a Primark haul. So that is my day. I'm going to go home and take off my makeup, put some comfy pyjamas on and I'm going to chill for the rest of the day. So I'll probably see you tomorrow because I'm probably not going to be doing much else today that's worth vlogging. I'm now home and every time I get home, the dogs are desperate to see what I bought. Like they always shove their heads in my bags, but I was just showing, Billy's just come to join the hall now. I was just showing Reggie. No, you can't have that, darling. Hey, don't no, me. I'm showing him. They want to see what I got. He wants to give it to him. Yeah, no, don't give him my gloves, you silly old man. I was just showing Reggie. I was like, this is my apple one. They love looking at what I bought. <laughs> apple? No, you don't want that. Bluey. Bluey. Then I got berry. I was going to get orange of this one, but I decided to get berry instead. And then we have raspberry ripple. Look, Reggie gets interested and tries to like, is actually interested in what I got, but Billy just tries to eat them. Let me show him my Christmas decorations, see what he thinks of them. Then I got this little gumball decoration. Oh, you don't like that one as much. I showed him the sausage and mash one and he's a big fan of that. He loves sausage and mash one, doesn't he? He literally sits here and wants a haul when I get home and I love it. Yeah. And then I got these running gloves. And then, Reggie, I also got this running vest. Hi, Mark. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, good, thank you, mate. You? At home. This dog is such a fan of a haul, it's hilarious. Good morning, it is now Thursday. I literally cannot believe it's Thursday. I feel like this week is going so fast. It is literally, whoosh, 
flushing party life but it is thursday and today mum and i were gonna have a really cute wholesome morning we we're gonna go to pilates and then go get a coffee afterwards um but then we went to book onto this pilates class this morning and it's either fully booked or you can't book it the morning of because it basically wouldn't last book onto the class like it just didn't say it was available so instead of going and doing a pilates class i just did some reform pilates on my sh on my machine anyway which i actually really enjoyed doing and i've not done it for a little while so i'm really glad i did that this morning and i've now just got myself ready for the day i've put on a little bit of makeup i am literally obsessed with this okay um you would have seen this in last week's weekly vlog the trigwell cosmetics powder right the girl that we were speaking to me and mia were speaking to from trigwell um was saying how amazing this is like she's worked for charlotte tilbury and she much prefers this to charlotte tilbury powders and blah 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 blah. anyway i tried this out yesterday when i went shopping with mum and i put it on and then literally when i got home you know but like when you feel your under eyes and you can just feel how soft and smooth they feel from the powder that is how they felt like this powder honestly lasted all day my skin felt so like baby smooth and soft even at the end of the day it was so good and i've been using it with the true world cosmetics powder puff and then i've been using the what is this t03 brush which i got from trigwell as well this isn't an ad they just gifted me this stuff when we went to that event last week but i thought i'd share my recommendation um, i've just been using this big fluffy brush to like brush away the powder once it's kind of like set and baked on and i've been loving it it's actually such a good powder so i'm really enjoying that combination at the moment and then also this morning at literally like half past seven super early um, i had this parcel delivered which is actually something that i bought off tiktok shop and seeing as we're on the subject of tiktok shop makeup i can't get into it let me just find some scissors or something since we're on the topic of tiktok shop makeup i thought i might as well open this on camera with you and this is from pink honey um i know they're like brow um what is it pink honey brow glue is it called it's super super popular oh my god <gasps> this packaging is so cool I know their brow glue is meant to be amazing, but I just have never got into the spiky brows. I've tried it so many times, it just never worked for me. But then I saw a TikTok on my few page the other day of this, which is the Cola, Cola Cubes Brow Gel. So it's tinted. And honestly, the before and after, let me just, I'm just going to quickly show you it because this is just incredible okay because i just thought this is so much easier then rather than like doing the spiky brows and then having to fill them in with a pencil because i'm a pomade girl so the kind of fact i would need to use like a pencil or a pen to do brush hair strokes it just kind of put me off but with this you don't need to do that this looks so good so this is it it's like a trust the process thing it gets like you have to get your head like super not head but like you have to get super messy basically but like look at her eyebrows to start with wait a minute super thin right and then look at them at the end like look at that before and after it looked amazing so anyway long story short i decided to buy it this packaging is honestly so cool i didn't realize it was going to come like that look at how cool that is and then in here, it just is the um, honey glue cola cubes tint and hold. And then it comes with a little spoolie. So I'm really excited to try this out. I think it also has the hole. Yeah, look. So then you like put the spoolie in and like rub it around. I feel like you probably know this anyway, because the clear one of this is such a popular product on TikTok. But I thought the tinted version could work quite well. So I will give that a go and let you know how I got on with that. I'm really excited to try that. I actually can't believe the packaging. That looks incredible. I just attention to detail we love that um so yes anyway so i did my um reform pilates this morning i also tried this maple butter that i got from mns on my toast i bought it ages ago and i just haven't got around to using it but i feel like it'd be better on like pancakes it says to like use it on like roasted vegetables or pancakes or bacon and i feel like bacon pancakes with that on would be delicious but anyway um, i'm about to get dressed i just don't know what i want to put on today because i'm going to pop into town with mum we're still going to go for a coffee i think we're going to try out this new cafe in our town that opened recently that we've been meaning to try out and we just haven't got around to doing it so i think i'm going to go there today so although i didn't go to a um what am i trying to say i didn't go to a pilates class this morning and then go for a coffee afterwards i just did perform a pilates instead and then i'm still going for coffee so it's still a cute morning of going to pilates and then going for a coffee so i'm looking forward to that and we also need to pop um do a little bit of a food shop and i might also pop into holland and barrett as well just to see what running bits they've got in there i mean i bought enough yesterday but you know what i mean i just kind of want to like kind of just tend to have a look anyway i've got something in my eye which is not ideal but yeah it's now thursday that is this morning's plans i'm looking forward to going out it was sunny before but it's now clouded over which is a bit of a shame and i just do not know what i want to put on i kind of just want to be like I was originally planning on going straight from Pilates to go for a coffee. So I was thinking I was going to be in like leggings and a hoodie kind of comfy vibes. So I might still just go for that vibe anyway, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to get dressed. And um, yes, that's what I should do. Yes, I have. Stop. Yeah. 
Hello, Mum and I have made it to the cafe. We've got a really nice seat. I feel like someone else is trying to equalise the lighting. We've got this nice view and it's so cute in here. Look at how nice little outside area is for a sunny day. And then there's so many things I could get like cinnamon brand French toast, mini Miss Poutine. All sounds like a bit of me, but I think we're going to get this toasty, share it, and I'm going to get some gravy to go with it because I feel like I should. Like the fact they've given it as an option, I feel like I should make the most of it. But like, look how cute it is in here. Shape that's this works quite well. My... Ta da! Our taste has arrived. Look at how good it actually is. It is three different cheeses with leek jam. The leek jam sold it to me, and then a nice pot of gravy for me to dip that in. How delightful. Mum and I have been um, and had our little cafe coffee toasty. It was delicious. Um, and I just want to quickly pop in. Uh, I was going to say B&M, Holland and Barrett, um, just to have a look at their running stuff, like I said, and then we're going to do a food shop, and I got a little, um, out, uh, what am I, why can't I speak? Um, okay, no. oh my god, he almost forgot, right, I'm just going to cut this clip, because I can't make sense, <laughs> um, it's all going, it's all going hectic. Look at how cute this little Christmas window is as well, so my aesthetic, it's adorable. He's an actor, Italian, but American, he lives in this country now, we really like What? This is what I've come in for, but they don't have the orange flavour. These are meant to be really good. I looked at the reviews on Holland and Barrett. These electrolyte fast chews, you get 10 in there. But they do have an orange one, but it's out of stock. And I don't really think I want lemon and lime. Like, I'd much rather get orange, but I don't think I can get them. But they also have these gels in here, which is handy to know. Like, if I need to get more whilst I'm in town or something. I'm going to stop talking about gels now, because I'm getting really boring. But look at these. This is much more my normal kind of content, not normal things I talk about tan tablets has anyone tried them it says copper contributes to normal skin pigmentation how much easier would it be to be able to like have a tablet that would fake tan you from the inside rather than having to like put fake tan on your skin every day imagine like not every day but you know what i mean rather than the thursday night fake tanning imagine just taking a tablet once a week i mean i don't think it's going to get me that tan but has anyone tried these does that actually make you more tan like does that actually work and can someone please invent an actual tablet that you just take and it gives you like fake tan coloured tan without me having to scrub it off and reapply it every week that look at how cute the little it. decorations are there's a the toaster and i also love this one and yeah. um, the little rubber duck and they've got a cake i love these kind of decorations look at how cute this is it's a little bear with a honey pot that's adorable a little dinosaur santa that um snowman's really cute as well look at how cute this one is it's tiny and also i love this I work hard, so yeah. my dog has a better life. And little crab. Oh, I think it might. Little crab goes walking on eight with Elsa. Elsa and Elsa. Elsa. Just down from there, on the left-hand side, it says Adair Close. Here, give me a second. Hi. It's a Venus flytrap from the Christmas yes, advert. Yes, so that must be out then. I need yes. to watch that when I get home. Yes, I've not I'll seen it. Can I split the skin off? Can I skin off? Yeah. Open it off. I'm actually so gutted that my Nespresso machine doesn't take all these pods because look, you can get grind ones, I'd get those ones, and look, all the Starbucks ones on offer. That is actually a bargain, and look at all the flavours. But I can't get them because my Nespresso machine is like a different shaped pod, which is literally the bane of my life. Like third world problems, but it does my head in. Another third world problem I have is I don't like porridge because this looks delicious, but I just don't like porridge. And obviously porridge would be such a good um, like pre-running thing to get because it's um, like so releasing carbs. But that sounds delicious, but I just don't like porridge. Maybe I'll get these though for running, just as like a pre-running snack or a during running snack. Because the golden syrup will be sugar. The oats will be carbs and they're on offer. Okay, I think I'm gonna get these to try. So, these also look nice. Look at these. These also look quite good because they're porridge bars. But I'm gonna try the other porridge bars first. But these are quite a good, they look quite a good, like, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Like a slow releasing oats pre run breakfast thing. Who's sick of me, like, going on about running now and all my things I'm buying for running this week? Apparently, this week's running week. I'm really in my running gal era. I'm just talking to you all about running. Look at how nice this looks. A cinnamon bun panettone. 
sign. Meet, should I scan it and see? Yeah. Panettone mixed cinnamon bun. <gasps> oh, that's a sweet mask. Man. That sounds delicious. Sauce, um, it's going in the basket. This is a bit of me. She's going in the trolley. This is just adorable. I mean, it's five pound for just a chocolate mince pie, but how cute is that? This is the most me card I've ever seen. Mum was like, oh my God, born to be well, but only until 9 p.m. or so. That is literally me in a card. Your shop. When I said Reggie literally looks through all my shopping when we come home, he got a new ball and he's found it and now he's trying to swap his old ball for a new ball. I think he's going to have himself one. <laughs> Go on then, you can have it. Which colour do you want for here? Orange? It's glowing in the dark. And it bounces this? and it squeaks. Oh, we, got there, Reggie can shop, it? we saw this ball in the Audi middle aisle and we just couldn't resist for Reg. He's literally ball obsessed as you can probably tell. And it's glow in the dark and it squeaks and he loves like... I'm not sure if he's going to let me show you. No, it's like a rubbery texture, which is his favourite. He smelled it out in the shopping bags. Like I said, he literally, whenever I come home from shopping, he always shoves his head to my bag to see if I've bought him anything. And today we actually had bought him a ball and he managed to sniff it out because he's like that obsessed with balls. He can just, he can just smell them from a mile off. <laughs> Why are you barking at it? Why are you barking at it? Get it then. Ready? Big jump. <laughs> oh, the nurses, are you so happy? I'd have to dump it. Good afternoon. I am now home. This is the outfit I ended up going with. It was a little bit chilly, but it was kind of a cute outfit and I just wanted to be comfy. So I went with this brown Primark jumper and these boohoo shorts which I wear all the time. I did iron them with my straighteners before I left the house but they literally crease up so quickly. And then these really cute socks which I got from AliExpress and they kind of look like the Ralph Lauren bear socks which are like sold out everywhere because I tried to get them and they're also um quite expensive. Whereas these which are like three pound of AliExpress. I'll leave a link down below if anyone wants them. I did pick up a couple of bits in town. I obviously got more running stuff. Apparently this week is the week of me buying literally everything under the sun for running. But Audi had these in the middle aisle, these ergonomic running socks. I don't know if they're a little bit of like, not a scam, but do you know what I mean? Like, do you actually need them? Are they actually better than any other socks? But it says they've got um, like an Achilles tendon pad, back protection, toe protection, heel protection, blah, 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 blah. This is what they look like. And they were only 2 99 in the food shop. So I thought I might as well give them a try. And then I also um, showed you these in Waitrose, but I got these as well. I realised when I got home, it says um, same amount of oats as a bowl of Quaker. So maybe this is my alternative to porridge for those slow releasing oats. And then I also popped a super drug um, and I got some lash glue. I normally use Swede lash glue, but that's £10 and you have to order online, so it's like postage on top of it. And anyway, when I was in Superdrug, I needed to go in there to get another one of my brow pomade because it's running out. Even though I've got that um, pink honey thing, obviously, I still wanted my usual brow pomade, which is just a revolution one. Um, I really like it, it works really well. And then whilst I was in Superdrug, I saw this, which was like 2 99 so I thought, rather than spending like 12 pound probably with like postage on my normal lash glue, I thought I'd give this a go and see what it's like. So that's what I picked up in town. And then on Tuesday, I wasn't, I didn't film any weekly vlog clips because I was just filming other videos. And this parcel arrived and I literally had no idea what it was because I wasn't expecting anything. And then I left it for a bit and I thought, okay, I'll open it on Thursday for the weekly vlog so we can like open it together and see what it is. And then I kind of ruined the surprise for myself because I was like reading the label to try and work out where it's from. And I saw three letters on here and I literally gasped. I was like, <gasps> So I think I know what's in this parcel. I know where it's from, but I don't know what's in it. So I've kind of annoyingly ruined the surprise for myself, but I'm still going to open it on camera. I still don't know what's fully is in here, but if what is in here is what I think is in here, I am literally mind blown. Oh my God, it is. It is what I thought it is. Oh my goodness me. I cannot quite believe that this is my life right now. This is what was in the parcel. Let me just give you a little close up. Oh, good God. Platinum Plus Professional Smart Styler Gift Set. 
from GHD. Oh my god, I have never had a pair of GHDs in my life. <laughs> like, I've always just had, um, like, Babyliss, I think it is, or whatever, hair straighteners. And now I've been gifted a pair of GHDs. Are you joking me? Oh my god, these look so nice. Oh my god, look what we have. So we've got the hair straighteners. How do I, I can't get them out. And then we have this pouch thing. I don't know, it's a gift set, so I don't know what's... <gasps> Oh, we have a paddle brush, GHD paddle brush and GHD travel size heat protect spray. And then, oh, this is like a little bag I can put the straighteners in after, um, after I've used them. And it's also heat resistant, which is amazing because I often like straighten my hair before I go to Josh's and then I want to bring my straighteners with me. And I'm like, I need to wait for them to cool down before I pack them. But this is heat resistant. And actually my normal straighteners, I'm going to leave at Josh's house now. And these can be my... So then I don't have to keep bringing them back and forth. What a win. Oh my god, I actually can't believe that. I want to have a quick look at the straighteners as well. I literally... Oh, they come with a little um, little suction. Not suction. Silicone. That's the word. They've even got silver on, which is perfect for me. GHD Platinum Plus. Look at them. Oh my god. My hair this week has been well and truly spoiled. I need to wash my hair this afternoon anyway because it's greasy. So I'm kind of tempted to try out all my Space NK products and then straighten my hair with the GHDs. My hair is literally never going to look or felt as good as it is going to after I've used all this stuff. What a good hair week we are having. I literally cannot believe that. I feel like this vlog has either been talking about hair products or running products and there's not been a lot in between. Um, oh my gosh, I actually think I might just literally wash my hair now because I'm too excited, I can't wait. Oh my goodness me. How is this my life? GHD, are you joking me? Are you actually joking me? Ah! I've literally just realised I'd forgotten to use the hair mask and the scalp oil and the scalp brush that I obviously should have used before I washed my hair. So my plan to use all the stuff in the Space NK box today for my hair wash has kind of gone out the window because I completely forgot about that stuff. So I just have to do that another day, trying all the stuff out. Today we can try some stuff out and then I'll do all the products another day because I did forget. This Olaplex literally smells insane, like it smells expensive. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it just smells like a fancy, luxurious spa. And now it is time to try the GHDs. I'm so excited. My hair is looking so glossy. It feels so nice. And that's obviously only with one wash of the Olaplex. I feel like with shampoo and conditioner, you kind of need to like test it out for a while to see what it's like. So I'll keep you updated as I use the Olaplex more. It's what I think. But at the moment, I don't know if you can see like how glossy my hair looks. And that's literally just from that. Like it is so nice and soft. But yeah, it is now time to try the straighteners. Again, I feel like I need to try these like once I've got like caught in a rainstorm because that's when my hair goes really frizzy and wavy. But obviously I've just blow dried my hair, so it's pretty straight as it is, but I'm just too excited. I want to try these now. I never thought I'd be so in love with how a pair of hair straighteners look, but they just look so sleek and gorgeous. One thing I haven't noticed without even turning them on, the cord on these is so long. Like, this is such a good length because I feel like normally on hair care products, like especially my hair dryer, the cord is so short, but on these, the length is lovely. It's a lovely length of cord. Oh, did you hear that? That sounded amazing. I actually probably should read the instructions because I don't know... I mean, I've pressed the on button, but like, do I need to do anything else? <laughs> I don't know where the instructions are. What was that noise? Why did it just make that noise? I don't know what these noises mean, like it's talking to me, but I don't speak in GHG hairstyler. They're already hot. That was very quick. That was a speedy, speedy heat up process. The problem is my hair is literally already so straight from blow drying it. So this isn't really helping to test it out. Maybe I'll try like a quick uh, hair straightener curl just to like test it for that. And then we can actually try the straightening another time. Oh wait, I've completely forgotten how to do hair straightener curls. Just a quick hair dryer curl test. No, hair straightener curl test. Okay, now that this bit is gone a little bit of like a weird curl, let's now straighten it back out and see how that works. I feel like I'm not testing these to their best ability at the moment, but 
I got too excited and I just wanted to use them. There we go, it's kind of straightened the curl out. They glide so nicely through the hair as well. Anyway, that is that now done. I now need to finish off today's video because it's like four o'clock and the video's meant to be going live at five and I still need to make a thumbnail and everything. So I'm gonna get on with that. I don't know if I'll vlog anything else today actually because I'm just gonna do that and then probably chill. So I will probably see you in the morning. Okay, we are here. Good afternoon. So yes, it is now Friday, it is the afternoon. Um, this morning I filmed a bunch of like YouTube videos, TikToks, trying clips, the whole lot. I woke up at six o'clock and I'm now feeling it to be honest. I do feel really tired. It's about, what even is the time? It's quarter to two and I just feel really knackered all of a sudden. I feel like, cause I've been go, go, go this morning. So woke up at six, got on with loads of filming and then I went and met Sophia and instead of going for Starbucks, we actually went to this little chocolate shop in our town today um, and we went for hot chocolate, which is really cute. So I had a white hot chocolate and we got little marshmallows to go with it. I think mine were lemon and strawberry, but I'm not really too sure. They were like homemade marshmallows, it was so cute. And then I got like a, I think it was double chocolate. I don't know. It was a cookie of some variety. I'll insert the clips in from that. Did you know what you were going for a little cheeky hot chocolate and a little chocolate yeah. shop. I've got a white hot chocolate. I'm trying to talk okay. very quietly. I feel like it's quite quiet in here. It's very quiet. Got little marshmallows to fit in it and a chocolate cookie. Oh, okay. Why can't these vans get around this corner very well? Is that the same van? No, it can't be. Why is it actually Hi a cool guys. shop? Is it? Yeah. We're just getting some Instagram content. No, not absolute photographer. And then Sophia also helped me shoot a bit of Instagram content and now I'm home and I feel really tired and like we also went to the chip shop and got some chips whilst we were out. So I thought that was going to be my lunch, like the cookie and the chips, which isn't the most healthiest. But then, like, I was full up when we were in the chip shop. Ten minutes it took me to drive home. I got home and I was starving. And all I fancy is a banana and we don't have any bananas. It's really weird. Um, but I also remembered I have this that I showed in last week's weekly vlog. Um, but I forgot about it and I found it in my bag this morning. It's this Coca-Cola Future Inspired Flavour co-created with AI. I don't get how that works. It's called... 3000 limited edition. I don't even really like Coke, but I always get intrigued by these, like these limited edition flavors. And I'm really flagging, I'm feeling a bit tired right now. So I thought we could try this and see what it's like. I don't know why I'm sat with my leg up, like a dog cocking its leg up to go for a wee. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. That literally just tastes like vanilla Coke with a weird aftertaste that I can't quite put my finger on. I literally can't work out what that is. I'm gonna Google it. I know that like, I've had one of these before and Google didn't, it doesn't tell you the actual answer because I think it's meant to be a mystery, but people have said what they think it is. So I'm going to see what other people think it is. Someone said it's a little like the liquid from maraschino cherries mixed with grape cough syrup. It kind of does taste a bit cherry actually. I'm trying to work out, I can't work out what that is. Someone said it's artificially fruity like a gummy bear or a lollipop. The, the aftertaste is more of a caramel vanilla flavour. There's a tasty berry vanilla flavour at first, but the aftertaste reminds me of buttered popcorn jelly beans. I would say it's vanilla to start with and then kind of fruity towards the end. I can't work out what it tastes like, that's really rubbish anyway. I also got this, I opened this parcel this morning. Look at this, this arrived yesterday. Um, I got it off eBay, but it's brand new with tags. It's from m &S, but Ralph Lauren dupe who? How flipping cute is this? I remember seeing this last year, but it was out of stock when I found it. Um, but I managed to find it on eBay, which I'm really pleased about. I don't know... It doesn't say what the original price was, but I paid £25 for this, which I'm now thinking is probably quite a lot. Like, not a lot, but do you know what I mean? Like, I probably could have got it for that price brand new, but I couldn't. I mean, it is brand new, but do you know what I mean? But it's so cute. It's giving Ralph Lauren vibes. It has a little SB on here for Spencer Bear. It's basically the bear that people are going crazy for the pyjamas of on TikTok at the moment, but it's the, um, it's like a jumper version. It's got skis on, and Josh and I, at the weekend, booked, um, flights to go skiing next year. So this is going to be coming in my suitcase with me. How cute is that? Like, I'm going to wear it in the winter anyway, because it's super cute Ralph Lauren vibes, but also, obviously, for skiing, it's going to be super cute, and it feels so nice, because it's like M&S, such nice quality. Um, I got it in a medium. There was a couple on sale on eBay, so if anyone wants them, have a look on there. It's like a really cute, like, navy, um, knitted jumper. And then also yesterday, um, something else that happened that I didn't, like tell you about yesterday because I kind of didn't film anything else since then I got an email yesterday from BBC News which was so bizarre I haven't actually replied to it I do kind of need to reply to it um how have I suddenly just got 42 emails in my account I'm actually so confused where have they all come from the email says hey Georgie how are you I'm a reporter at BBC News I'm working on a story about Timu I saw your haul video and thought I'd drop you an email we're speaking to UK consumers using the website slash app in the run up to Christmas we're hoping to speak to people who use it regularly or are using it because they can't afford to shop anywhere else for Christmas do you think you'd be up for chatting I mean absolutely Sam I'm just intrigued about being well not being on BBC News but like a BBC News thing. Why is that bit of hair just not wanting to stay there? I'm intrigued by that. So that's fun. Also, 
can we take a second for the tracksuit? This is not the Zara um, bomber tracksuit that you may be thinking is. This is the Boohoo dupe. So last week, if you saw last week's weekly vlog, um, it's actually on the floor here because I was filming with it earlier. Um, I got this grey one and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a, um, a Zara dupe. I really wish they did it in beige. Well, lo and behold, at the weekend, they came out with it in beige. So of course I ordered it. And the beige is so much nicer. It's thicker, it's softer. This just feels a little bit stiff almost. And I don't get why, because they're the exact same tracksuit, like like looks wise, just in two different colors. So I don't really get why they're, um, there are two separate listings of them on Boohoo. It's not like, you know, sometimes you have one listing and you just can choose the colors. They are two separate listings to be fair. So they, so they are slightly different on the website, but I just thought they'd be the same, but they're not. And I got this one in a small and it was way too small. So I got this one in a medium and it's a little bit too big. So also the sizing's different, but look at this for a Zara dupe. These, I don't know if I've tucked it in very well, but that's the bomber and these are the trousers. I did post about this as soon as it got posted on Boohoo. I posted on my Instagram story, but I think it is now sold out. I'll still, I'll st oh, why can't I speak today? I'll still, I will still leave a link down below in the description box to this um, tracksuit if anybody wants it. That's a little hint as to why you should be following on Instagram because you can have up to date things and get things like get links to things whilst they're still in stock. It's all I'm saying. But yeah, it's so comfy, but I feel like it's just a little bit nicer than a normal tracksuit. And also in last week's weekly vlog, when I was showing you the grey one, if you haven't seen that video, I also showed you the Zara one. So if you kind of want to compare this one to the Zara one, go and look at last week's weekly vlog because I tried the beige Zara one on in that video. But anyway, it is now almost two o'clock i was gonna go on and run this afternoon but i'm just really like feeling tired um and i've had a look at the weather forecast and tomorrow morning it's forecast to be bright blue skies and sunshine whereas at the moment it's cloudy and a bit gray and i much prefer running in sunshine so i thought you know what it's actually better it makes more sense for me to go on a run tomorrow morning rather than because what i was going to do this afternoon i'm basically going to plan outfits for cornwall and pack for cornwall so what i was going to do was plan outfits and pack then go for a run in about an hour, then come back, plan some more outfits and pack. And then tomorrow morning, I was going to finish off packing. But that's a bit bitty, whereas what I could do, which is what I'm going to do instead, the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to plan outfits for Cornwall and pack. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to go for my run. It actually makes more sense. It's just I need to now run Saturday morning and Sunday morning. And I normally try and do like alternate days, but I've not got far to run this weekend because I obviously did my long run at the start of the week. So I think I'll probably only have like a 30 to 50 minute run to do each day. So doing them back to back doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, that is this afternoon's plans. I thought I was gonna vlog loads today, but like when Sophia and I went to the chocolate shop, it was really, really quiet in there. And there was like people, there was this, these two people that I used to um, serve every Friday at my old job. So they obviously like recognised me, but maybe they didn't know where they recognised me from. And it just felt a bit weird getting a camera out. So I didn't really vlog anything in there. Um, so I thought I was going to vlog loads today and I just haven't. And I probably won't vlog much this afternoon because I'm just going to be trying on outfits, which is really boring and packing. But that is currently where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'm really need to, I'm not a big fan of Coke, like I said, but I'm feeling really tired. So I'm just going to keep drinking it. And yeah, I think that's it. I think we're all caught up on our lives. Let me know in the comments down below what you're up to, if you want to. Um, but yeah, that is everything I've been up to so far today. And I'll see you in a bit. Oh, you're going up there, are you? Look, he's come to join us with his new ball. Which ball, boy? It's your ball. Uh-oh, here he comes. Here's your brother. Hello! Where are you off to? You want to sit in my lap? Oh, God. <laughs> Red just dropped his ball, so he's looking for it. He's stressed. It's down there, darling, but I can't get it because Billy is literally sat in my lap. If you think you're not going to get a lap dog if you buy a giant golden retriever, you're wrong. I've got about 42 kilograms of dog sat in my lap right now. But to be fair, it's really weird. When the dog's in my lap, then it's down here, darling. I can't reach it. Let me try and reach it with this box. There we go. Genius. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Oh. Good catch. I haven't shown um, Reggie my GHDs actually, but I don't know if he'd be interested. See, this dog literally, if I get something new, he loves showing, like me showing him. Like when I got, oh, I don't actually, oh, my GHDs aren't in here. This is a heat protecting spray. Literally, when I got back from shopping the other day, as I showed you, he just, every time I get back from somewhere, every time I have something new, he loves to see it. This is the uh, heat protecting case it came in. It's got like a nice rose gold zip. Do you like that? And then you like put them in there when you like take them traveling. He just loves a haul. This dog is honestly like, you can tell he's my dog because he loves a little fashion haul. Well, just any haul really. I mean, don't we all? I don't think I've got anything else new here to show you, Reg. I think everything else you've already seen before in my life. 
Family photo! Everybody smile! You smiling? If you saw last week's weekly vlog, you'll know I got the dogs this. Um, I mean, Reggie's eating the packaging, so I can't show you it. Um, this dog cracker from Home Bargains. But as the week has gone on, I've started to be a bit more confused because it's a dog cracker, but it's got cats on the packaging and it also had a bell in it. And I just thought, normally cat toys have bells in, but dog toys don't. And I was starting to get a bit confused. So I filmed this TikTok this morning being like, run, don't walk to Home Bargains to get this dog cracker. Like how cool that your dogs can be included in Christmas. And then whilst I both had them here in my office, I thought I might as well um, test it out. So we've just tested it out and we do in fact have a cat toy in our dog cracker. So basically if you're going to buy the dog crackers from Home Bargains, make sure you double check the packaging because I picked up one that said dog cracker on it, but they'd put a cat cracker in the dog cracker box. Does that make sense? So now I've ended up with a cat cracker, which is not ideal, but I thought I might as well open it because I started to convince myself I had got a cat cracker and I was absolutely correct. I thought I might as well open it today just to double check, especially because I only got them one of them. So now I need to go back to Home Bargains and try and pick up two two dog crackers so we can actually have them on Christmas because I just thought well, if we save it till Christmas and we open it up and it turns out to be a cat cracker it's going to ruin Christmas so you're not oh you want your ball we've just tested it out and it is in fact a cat cracker and Reggie clearly isn't very happy about it because he's literally destroying all the packaging Billy's also destroyed the packaging and the party hat so I mean at least that's gone down well but I'll insert the TikTok in here of us opening it because Reggie loved it Billy didn't really want to open it but Reggie loved it so I'll insert the TikTok in here of us opening the cracker and finding out that we do in fact have a cat cracker, even though these clearly aren't cats, they are the most giant dogs ever. That's not a dog toy, is it? I was right. We have been scammed by home bargains. We have bought a dog cracker, but it's got cats on it and it's got a cat toy in it. Don't eat the fluffy microphone. <laughs> Good morning, it is now Saturday. It is forecast to be a blue sky sunny day, which is my favorite kind of autumnal day ever. Although I don't really have many plans yet for the day. So I'm kind of trying to think up plans, but Josh had an operation last week, so we can't really do much because he's obviously like limited with movements and stuff. But anyway, we'll end up seeing what I do throughout the day as we get on with our, we're, as, as we get on with the day. But it is Saturday morning, the sun is rising, it's seven o'clock, it looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day, like I said, and I'm gonna go for a run. And I'm actually really feeling going for a run this morning. Like I just think it's such a nice way to start the day, and also like with it being blue skies and sunshine, it's my favourite weather to run in. And also, I'm only doing a short run today, but I feel like it'd be rude to not put the running vest on for today's run. <laughs> like I don't need a running vest because I'm not running for long enough like because my training plan run today is only super short but we have the running vest now I'm now a running vest girly like <laughs> I've always wanted a running vest like at the start of this year before I even considered running marathon I said how I wanted to like get into long distance running and like be running a long enough distance to warrant getting a running vest and now here I am with a running vest because I'm running long enough distances to warrant one. Does that make sense? Oh my god, doesn't this look so cool? I feel like I proper look the part now. Like, all the gear, no idea. Sorry, Billy's barking because he's just about to go for his run. Not for his run, for his walk. This looks so good. I think the all black outfit really helps. I've also got this Primark, um, the Primark top. Oh, I didn't show you it. I bought it last week, but I actually didn't show you it because I was saving it for Primark haul. But I've got that on as well today. I really like this running outfit actually, it looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna bother bringing a gel because like I said, I'm not doing a long enough run, but I did actually get these the other day from um, this brand called Energy Bites. They're on TikTok. Oh, these look really exciting. They're on TikTok um, and they reached out to me asking to send me some. They thought, actually, this sounds perfect. They smell delicious. Um, they're fast acting with caffeine, vitamin enriched little gummies. So I thought these might be kind of like a good alternative to the like, energy gels because they're like little gummies these look delicious they look like fruit pastels this is the packaging on them the sun's shining in so this lighting's a little bit awkward i apologize so i thought this would be a good thing to try again i probably won't try them today because i don't really need an energy bite for the length of run i'm doing but i'll definitely try them as well so now we have so many running things this week to try this just seems to be the week of running and buying loads of running accessories talking of which i do also have a h&m parcel which i'm just going to quickly open this is i got these running trainers uh no i didn't why am i saying all the wrong words today i got these running leggings i couldn't think of the word from h&m and i thought these are really cool because 
they're reflective so they all look a bit like speckled at the moment i'm sorry that dog is going ballistic this morning um they're all speckled but these are like the speckledy bits are reflective which i thought would be really good again i don't really run in the dark so i don't like it but i thought these would be quite handy for like gray gloomy days in winter they've also got a zip pocket on the back i thought they were really good and then i also got a sports bra or like a oh is this a sports top i ordered this a while ago i can't remember what i ordered i forgot i had this parcel um is this a oh this is nice it looks a little bit see-through though and it also looks really big what size did i get this in oh i got this in a medium maybe they didn't have it in stock in my size because that looks a bit big but like a little like the black top i've got now but a cream one i think i might have to return that and actually try and get that in my size because i think that'd be really nice if it actually fit tightly so that's some more running stuff if this um weekly vlog wasn't full of running stuff enough then there's a little bit more but yes i'm gonna go on a run now i haven't looked at my running plan as to what i'm running today but i think it's just gonna be like a 30 to 45 minute run because obviously i did the 12k run on monday but yeah i'm gonna go for my run come back shower i need to film two tiktoks this morning because i just want to get them filmed before i go to cornwall but i couldn't film them yesterday because of stuff didn't get delivered till yesterday afternoon so i'm going to quickly film them um, and then i'm going to pop to the post office and then i'm going over to josh's and i'm going to spend the weekend at josh's before i go down to cornwall tomorrow afternoon and i don't really know we've not really got anything planned at the moment because like i said josh had an operation last week so like we haven't really planned to do anything so whether we actually go out he did want to get his hair cut today in town but i literally went into town yesterday and i went into town the day before so can there be bothered to go into town three days in a row i don't know i've just got a 30 minute run to do today and i'm actually gonna listen to it. i keep seeing people on tiktok talk about the girls bathroom um podcast episode where they're trying to work out who this girl is and i don't know what they're talking about like um i saw a tiktok yesterday and they were like saying it's this like fitness influencer and like something to do with her boyfriend or her partner cheating on her and she doesn't know it and she's got a million followers and people are like trying to work out who's for instance we're talking about but i haven't listened to the podcast so i don't get it so i think i'm going to listen to that podcast like listen to half of it um on my run this morning i do need to get a move on though because i just want to get to josh's as soon as possible really um so headphones are on i'm about to put my socks on oh i need my apple watch as well apple watch is on i'm gonna get going on this run and I will see you in a little bit. I also thought to say about these, by the way, this is not an ad, not being paid or anything to say this, I just thought people might be interested. Um, I saw, it doesn't say it on the pack, I don't think, but I saw somewhere online, like on their like page and stuff, that these have got the same amount of caffeine in them as a cup of coffee. So if you don't like coffee or like energy drinks, because I don't like energy drinks or anything like that, like I love coffee, but I do not like a Red Bull. So if you wanted like a caffeine boost or something, like even not for running, just like day to day, you wanted that little like boost without having a cup of coffee or something, these are quite a good alternative because they're fast acting you know what i mean i just said that didn't i but they're basically like a cup of coffee caffeine but just in a little gummy sweet for anybody that doesn't like coffee or anything i definitely should have brought the running gloves although it's gorgeous blue skies and sunshine it's absolutely freezing and my hands are so cold hello hello darling have no fear billy is out on his run everyone i saw that marking he just He's a dog that loves routine and he likes to go on his walk early and if he doesn't go on his walk early, he's not a happy buddy, but he's out. So it's all good. We are on the home stretch. We have four minutes left. I'm nearly done. I've warmed up now so my hands aren't cold and I'm loving the running best. Like I am obsessed. Job done. Hello, we are now in the car. No, I'm just, oh, now. bear with. I'm just about to go to Josh's. Jack Harlow's come out with the Loving On Me song and I was listening to it and I was running and I literally felt like I was in a film, like in a movie. Like I was running, singing along to it. It's the first time I've actually listened to the full, like I was obsessed with the sound on TikTok, but it's the first time I've actually listened to the song since he's released it. And I was also listening to, I'm obsessed, right, with um, Waking Up In Vegas. Max Belegdo posted a tiktok with that song by katie perry and it like reminded me of that song so i added it to my playlist and i've literally been obsessed with it all week so i was like literally running down the road near the end of my run like this dancing if anyone saw me they probably thought it was a lunatic but honestly it was amazing i would have filmed it but then i couldn't because i couldn't film and listen to music at the same time on my phone but it was honestly it was insane you really missed out on something so yes i'm going to I'm gonna let, I'm gonna go to Josh's now. Is basically all I really had to say. I've just made that long clip. I love I've made it to Josh's, and I'm just looking at the McDonald's um, app thingy because we're tempted. Well, Josh wants some McDonald's for lunch. I'm not that fussed about it. I'm quite happy to just have some gnocchi here. So I was just seeing. Um, Oh, we were seeing whether the mozzarella zippers were still on was the whole reason why we were looking. But I've just seen this. I didn't even know McDonald's did this. A McDonald's chicken combo. 
20 chicken nuggets and two, well, 10 selects. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm just hot update on that because that mind blew me. The John Lewis ad that came out earlier on this week and I haven't got around to watching it yet, so I thought we could watch it together. I've seen some um, slightly negative, like, well, I saw someone, that, it was Jilly Isabel, I think her name is. She was like, John, what the fuck? Lewis, what the fuck was that? Um, and I've heard people say like it was like the worst John Lewis advert yet. So I'm gonna have a look at it. I've seen the Aldi one and I love it because it's um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory theme, and I love Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Like, it's one of my favourite films. When Mum and I went to Waitrose the other day, though, um, I think that was the day the advert came out, and I saw the, like, um, it's called Snapper, like the Venus flytrap that's, I don't mind doing that, that's the main character of, oh, here's the advert. It's the main character of the advert, like, or the main thing. So I know roughly that it's about that, but I'm going to give it a watch, and I'll let you know what I think. Do you want to watch it with me? It's a very different vibe from the um, Somewhere Only We Know song and the John Lewis ad vibe. Can you hear it? It's a completely different vibe. Oh, they've got all the John Lewis baubles on there that I got the other day. Aww. I actually quite like that. It's not an emotional one, but I don't... I feel like if the John Lewis ad vibe was emotional every single year, it would just get really repetitive. So I like the fact that it's like different it put a smile on my face i don't even see all the hate like you don't want them to be the same every single year but you don't want them always to be sad and have a really sad story because christmas isn't about sadness do you know what i mean i actually quite like that i'm quite a fan of that to be fair and i suppose it's also quite clever for john lewis because now they've got loads of snapper toys in weight choices and john lewis's that um kids will want to buy and it's gonna you know get them more sales so it's a win it's a win anyway we're doing it Anyway, we need to decide what we're going to have for lunch. It's Nocky v McDonald's debate, and I would actually normally always vote for McDonald's, but I'm just not fully feeling it today. Like, I'm quite happy to... You know, like, when you're younger and your mum's like... You're like, oh, mum, can we have a McDonald's and when you're out and about? And she's like, no, we've got food at home. I always used to hate that, but I've now turned into that. Like, I'm <laughs> very much the person of, oh, but I do have food at home. But maybe we will get a McDonald's. I'll keep you updated. So here's my crispy air fry and gnocchi recipe. This would be really SMR, really, but all I can hear is a chainsaw and it's steamed up my camera. No, that's not, no, when I got it out there was a really good cheese port and you're just not showing it very well. No! What, 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 Right, are you actually showing the cheese port? Doesn't look, look as good as when I did it. Oh, why Where's am I putting it all on? Heart? I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Dad, they've got Dunkin' Donuts. They've got Dunkin' Donuts. <gasps> oh, might have to get a Dunkin' Donut. <gasps> wow. It's one of the ice cream machines they have at the... Um... Look. What they sell? Yeah, just Dunkin' Donuts! Did you borrow yeah. my glasses or something? Yeah, because I, I, my sunglasses are packed somewhere in here. Good afternoon, it is now Sunday. We're in a very jam-packed car, as you can probably see behind me. Um, but we're on the way to Cornwall. We stopped off to get some petrol, and look at how cool the petrol station had Dunkin' Donuts. So I got um, cocoa hazelnut and they've got little like crushed smarties on so that'll be my little car snack i've just chucked my sunglasses on because mine are in the back somewhere there's no way i'm gonna get them but it was the sun was kind of shining awkwardly on my eyes um but 13 I'm, miles they've gone and bought a brand new car and it's that color oh, maybe they like that color so that's today's plan we're in the way in, in the, on the way to Cornwall, and i've got these Woo We've made it to Cornwall and we bought Reggie another one of these balls. This is one we got him earlier on in the week, but we bought him two so he could have one at home and one in Cornwall. So I thought I'd film his reaction to getting another new ball because we all saw it earlier in the week and he loves it. That's good. You sit. Really need something there. Stick that ball 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 there. Stick that ball